Hey guys, it's Bethany here. And today we're gonna to talk about how your typical household cleaners compare to Norwex. So a lot of times you're using something like this in your house, just your typical disinfectant wipe, or maybe it's a spray cleaner. Regardless, it, I encourage you to take a look at how they actually tell you on the directions to use them. Now a wipe is a noun and a verb, right? So it seems pretty self-explanatory. You don't need to look it up, but Go right now, if you're able, and take a look at yours. This one in particular says, to disinfect you need to leave the surface visibly wet for at least four minutes. Now that means that you need to make sure it doesn't dry as it's sitting there, which we already know oftentimes happens with these wipes. They get dried out pretty quickly, so that means multiple wipes, time that you don't have, and in the end you still have that chemical residue left behind. So you are exposing yourself to the chemicals, your family, and then what happens when your child goes behind you and licks that refrigerator you just wiped down, right? Because that's what kids do. So let's compare. I do have a tile surface here that's in some glow germ. This is how we show the way germs move about in the real, in a real environment. You can see they glow under the black light, okay? So with one of these wipes, I'm just using a wipe this time, I'm gonna use it exactly the way someone would in their home. So I'm not gonna use it for four minutes um, and walk, make sure it dries and everything because that's not what the typical person does. We just wipe everything up. We keep using it because it's still wet, fold it over, continue wiping until we feel like it looks clean look clean to you guys? It does to me on this end. But what you'll see is you've actually just spread all those germs around. Do you see all that? The bright blue? All right, so now if this was a stomach bug or the flu virus, we've taken, taken germs and spread them everywhere. So teachers, are you grossed out yet? Um, so when you use your Norwex cloth, I've got an Enviro cloth here right now. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how well it takes it off. But before that, would you take a look at my hand real quick? Holy moly, it went right through to my skin. So now I'm contaminated by the flu virus or stomach bug as well. Now what happens when I forget that I touched all of that and I wipe my face or I brush my hair from my eyes? Do you see how even my fingerprints <laughs> glow? So you can see over here, it doesn't glow blue, it glows purple. And over here it glows blue. That's because I just touched my face with my hand after touching, um, cleaning up glow germ. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna clean this tile, just half of it, with an Enviro cloth. You'll notice I'll leave it open because the more surface area against the surface of your, your um, counters or whatever you're cleaning up is best. All right, can you look at me right here? <laughs> this is the side. Of Norwex so you see how it glows purple that means there's no germs left over here you can see a distinct line where we suddenly have all of the germs that these wipes left behind so which side would you want to eat off of right I love that in addition to that so I'll go ahead and clean off the entire tile that easy um, our if you take the same wipe say you wanted to clean multiple places in your home because it's still wet See how it continues to reapply um, re itself, all the germs to a new surface. So that's called cross-contamination. I can actually remove that. Take a look at the cloth here. You see how it glows blue? That's where it's picked up all of that bacteria, if we were talking about real bacteria, and holds it in. I can then eh, use really aggressive approach trying to reapply the germs and look it stays purple. It does not reapply. So I love that even though we picked up 99% of all the germs and contaminants in the cloth, you can see them there. It holds onto them tight and does not redistribute them onto your surfaces. So you can rest assured that it's not only picking up all of the bacteria and germs and viruses and all of that, but it's not moving them around your house. So take a, a um, inventory in your mind of what cleaners you're using currently and how you're using them and see if Norwex would be a better option. I bet so.